Alrighty, so I awkwardly and embarrassingly enough left out the main part about um, the Cedar Fair conference call that affects all the parks um, in the Cedar Fair chain from the last video. So I'm going to quickly sum it up in a very short video right now because it's really juicy and it needed to be um, said. I was typing it out in the main top comment underneath my video as a wrap up. And then I was like, oh, not everyone's going to see this. And this is like the juiciest part. So but nonetheless, let's get right to it. So um, Cedar Fair with the $190 million that they're going to start spending more in park than in park and renovations starting in 2022 uh, is also uh, just flat out gave out the uh, extension uh, that they plan to have for parks that are getting coasters every two to three years. So parks that um, are currently getting coasters every two to three years, there's going to be a one to two year delay added on top of that from now on. So let's say Canada's Wonderland was a park. Historically, we were getting a coaster every three years, especially if you add in when Yukon was meant to be built. Um, it's every three years. So we will now get a coaster every four to five years instead of every three years. A park like Kings Island, who gets a coaster, I think, every three to four years, is going to get a coaster every four to five years now, if that makes sense. Um, and so on and so forth. So what they're going to be doing is they're going to be investing in more strategic uh, attractions with e more immersive experiences um, that will help delay the, the gap year. So, for example, they install a Giga Coaster. They would typically need to install another roller coaster three years after that to keep drawing in guests and uh, encouraging them to buy fast lane now uh, with attractions that they are going to be building starting in 2022. I think that they've already started this, though. I think Yukon and Copperhead were a part of this as well and Orion um, as well. You're going to start seeing uh, more immersive experiences that are going to encourage a broader audience, that are going to encourage people to get Fastlane. They're going to market Fastlane better, I'm assuming, which will allow them to uh, now build a coaster four to five years after they currently just built one instead of three years. That's for the big parks, though, by the way. I'm not saying that's all Cedar Fair parks. Um, they are saying that this is going to be applied to all of their major parks. Um, and this will help spend money at every park every year. So this is a part of Cedar Fair's new process of investing in every park every year with something new and exciting. So I just wanted to get this video out there about that um, super quickly because I left it out of my other video. I'm so sorry. Um, another big tidbit that I left out of the other video that I put in the uh, pinned comments of the other video is Cedar Fair is um, starting to pay down a lot of its debt a lot quicker and balance out its balance sheet um, to place itself in a, a spot where they can strategically go after um, M&As if they arise again, just like the Six Flags one, but it looks like Cedar Fair is looking to be maybe the head of any M&As that might happen, and they reference the Paramount Park takeover. They want to put themselves in a place where if something does arise, they can hop on that and purchase that if something like that happens again, where uh, I guess a chain is looking to sell or merge. Anyways, I just wanted to include that really quickly. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, guys. Bye.